Yo, bro. Right, can I plug this up real quick? I told you go plug it up one. No, I'm just saying, like, you know, it's your room, it's your house. I was just asking, you know, can you, can you plug it up real quick for me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so is that a no or you just... I mean, I'm just doing it myself. I'm, I, yeah, I'm just doing it. What is up, Snipe Squad? It is your boy, Snapper Joan Joan, back with another video, man. Today I'm downtown, man, with my boy Chaz at Chaz Crib. Chaz, say what up to the vlog, boy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you gonna say something to the vlog, bro? You just gonna... Chad said, what's up, boy? Hey, we chilling right now, as y'all can see. I've been rocking my merch for like every single day since I got it. I'm telling y'all, it's no better feeling than actually having your own stuff and being able to rock your own stuff. It's just a great feeling to have. Are you just gonna ignore your company and play Fortnite all day? Cause I, I mean, cause we haven't talked since I got here. You just been playing the game. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking. That's my dog right there. So right now we downtown Atlanta and we getting it in, you know what I'm saying? Now I love to come out here, bro. Actually, I'm thinking about moving out here. I know I'm gonna say that like five times in this video, but if y'all don't know my purpose in my videos, it's more than just sneakers. I try my best to motivate y'all as much as possible because I need motivation as well. I look for forms of motivation. I feel like YouTubers in my situation with actually people who watch them and support them don't really use their platform as much as they probably should to elevate. I'm not saying they doing it the wrong way, I'm just saying I'm gonna do mine a little bit differently. Like I said, I'm downtown right now. I don't really want to reveal, well, reveal what area it is because I really want to move in this particular area. Now, if you watched a lot of my older videos, you'll see that it was another neighborhood I looked at and I like that place as well. It's all about options, man. It's all about options. Either way it goes, I like coming through and ironically, my boy Mike lives here. As y'all can see right now though, the weather is great. Your boy got shorts and Yeezys on, you know what I'm saying? This downtown area of Atlanta is honestly like the best place you could possibly live. All the sneaker stores, the boutiques, and the women, you know what I'm saying? It's right here, and it's just good to be in an area like this. Here, what up with it, Mike? My dog, what going on, boy? You know what I'm saying? Hey, right now, man, I'm in my boy Mike crib. As y'all know, Mike crib is my crib. I come in here, dang, boy, you know what I'm saying? The hell you got on the bed, man? I come in this thing, boy, you know what I'm saying? I just lay in the bed like a boss that I am, you know what I'm saying? It's my stuff when I'm in this place, you know what I'm saying? It's a good day today, you know what I'm saying? Let's see what they got going on outside one time. Ah. So your boys can get used to this, man. Just about every morning saying what up to the neighbors and everything, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> good morning, everybody. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> <laughs> they just they just be playing. Hey yo man, I gotta show him these ugly felines you got, bro, because I don't know why he was so happy to show me these shoes. <laughs> I mean it, I like him. I'ma show you the shoes. Now I'ma be honest, you know what I'm saying? I y'all know, you know, I say rock what you like unless they these. Now Mike what I mean well first of all, the patent leather is like no That's other. That's not it ain't no patent leather on those. And the tongue, the tongue nigga. This, but he got this is look, a, hold up, look, he got a um is that Velcro, my nigga? Yeah, yeah, see, see, that's new, right? Fila, the nigga who created this, his name is Raphael Fila. You, you know him? Like, you, you saying like you, you know the dude? I, I mean, I met him a couple times. I'm gonna put this new material called Velcro. It's never been used before. They definitely use Velcro on a, on a bunch of shoes. It's shoes over there with Velcro on it, Mike. If I want to hoop in them, you know what I'm saying? Whether outside or inside. I'm a big nigga, right? So we need ankle support. Give me the damn shoe. You, you know, cause, cause I'm just, I mean, I guess we're pretty even though. I'm rocking, you know what I'm saying, 500s, these ugly as hell too. So, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it go both ways, you feel me? Yo, you driving, bro? You, you driving? You driving, bro? Yo, you driving? Yo, my man, you driving though? Are you driving though? You driving? You driving? You driving though? No. Damn hands off me. So, hey, look, check this out, guys. I got tickets to the Hawks game. As a real friend, you know your boy Snapper Joan Joan. I told my boy Mike, I said, yo, Mike, I got tickets to the Hawks game tonight, boy. And he had the nerve to tell me 
he didn't want to go. Just because the Cavs was playing. Now y'all know I'm from Cleveland, that hurt my heart. They still got some pieces left. Boy pieces. I mean, they they still got. But, but no, 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 because I remember. Nah, but they, but they do. What about, um. See, you forgetting about, uh. The team is ass! Maybe you're right. So I honestly think we in like the most fancy Walmart of all time. I honestly didn't really need to come to this Walmart. I don't mind going to the hood Walmart. Anyways, man, I'm looking for a vision board. A vision board is what I would call what I'm looking for today. And what I mean by vision board is like a dry erase board or something like that. Well, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write down all my ideas and all the goals that I wanna hit for 2019 and basically challenge myself to hit all of those goals by the end of the year. Kind of like how I did this year when I said I wanted to hit 10K, I wanted to work with different companies, stuff like that. Basically it's a way to keep up and make sure that you keeping up with things you want to do. I know, I know I'm lost right now. I don't know where the hell I'm going, but I just... Oh. oh. Hey, boy, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, I wasn't really going to do this, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really want to kill y'all like this. Hey, look, man, this is my new whip, you know what I'm saying? Don't dog, you heard? Brand new Roadmaster, you know what I'm saying? Get the Roadmaster on the side, you know what I'm saying? Brand new, clean. We well, ain't got no pegs on it, but you, you see the Dayton's on that thing, you know what I'm saying? What they gonna say when I pull up in this? All right, so apparently Mike and Z have found this toy and it's called the Magic 8-Ball. So basically what you do is you ask it a question, you shake it up and you get an answer now. You know your boy Snapper Jones, Jones. I'm gonna ask him something right off the hip, you know what I'm saying? Is your boy gonna hit a million sub by the end of next week? You know what I'm saying? Nah, you know shake it up saying? and I guess you just wait for the answer, you feel me? <laughs> Very doubtful. Oh. Now, I probably just didn't hear me right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask it again. No. I'm gonna ask it again. I, no, you tripping. Is your boy Big Rats gonna hit a million sub by the end of the week? You know what I'm saying? As I see it, yes. See, I knew you just gotta ask it a few times. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, take me to the crib. All right, guys, we are back. As y'all can see, man, I'm not at my crib. I'm at Mike's crib. And I gotta get y'all this unboxing because, or basically, uh, unpackaging, because I have to go to the Hawks game later on tonight. And I wasn't gonna be able to make it back home to the crib. So, as y'all can see, I got a huge bag of clothes from ASOS or ASOS, however you wanna pronounce it. I know a lot of people shop there. Me personally, it's weird with me, bro. Like I will, I don't mind spending like two hundred to three hundred dollars on sneakers, but I will never pay that much money for clothing. Like I, I don't know. Number one, I ain't got it, and number two, you can kind of get like the same exact look as those high high brands at spots like this. So, without further ado, let me go ahead open this up and show y'all what we got at ASOS or AOS. How do you pronounce it? Let me know down below. I, 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 uh open this bad baby up and we got some stuff in here i'm excited about because as y'all know um it's cold january coming up soon december is over christmas is over but the weather is still very harsh so i had to get some stuff that i didn't already have starting off we got some jeans these jeans right here are dope i picked these out because i didn't have anything this type of complexion it's like that nice raw wash denim that light you know what i'm saying some real light some real nice some real easy you know what i'm saying and of course you gotta have that tapered bottom. Now, I don't know if y'all boys still rocking your clothes like this 2003 with the Soldier Boys and the tall tees, but me, your boy Sniper Joan Joan, I cannot do that, man. So I had to get the tapered bottom just so they fit exactly how you want them to fit around the sneakers because the kicks gotta be shown. Now, like I said, with this pair, man, it's kind of dope because it's like a wash denim. And what that does basically is allow these pants to kind of just like fall back, be neutral, and then give your outfit a nice little pop. So that's the first thing we got. Next up, we got a hoodie. Y'all know me, I love my hoodies. I'm Rocking my hoodie as we speak. This that Snapper Jones we sold out. Unfortunately, y'all can't cop none. But hey, look, this here is like a mustard yellow. Don't really know how to explain it, but this is easy, simple, easy. The material is actually pretty good on it. This is something you could throw on with like black jeans or even these wash denim jeans right here and throw something crazy on foot. Very subtle, very sleek. It should be a medium. It look kind of big though. What size is this? Yep, it's a medium. Yeah, so it's a medium 
But like I said, this is something you can easily throw up under like a denim jacket or something like that or just rock it by itself to be honest. And you can really pull off whatever you want to pull off with these. You can throw this on with a pair of black jeans and throw the Concords on and this will offset it and it'll be fire. Trust me, man. Boy, Snipe, you know what I'm saying? I could have did, you know, I could do my own thing, but you know, I ain't gonna hurt y'all like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna do y'all like that. Coming up next, we got another hoodie. This one was very, very dope and I got this for a good price. Off tops, you see like this green that kind of reminds you of like the this kind of like the same exact color of the laces on the wave runner it's like that lime green colorway i got this in a large i usually wear a medium something told me that they ran small and a dope thing you can do on uh asos is you can kind of do like a size trial they ask you your height your weight how old you are how do you like your clothes whether you like being tight comfortable or loose and basically, they'll give you like a chart breakdown of what size you should get. They told me I should get a large. Now, looking at this, maybe that was a bad idea. Because it does look kind of big, but I don't know. I'm going to get back up with y'all when I, when I try it on. I don't really know. If it's too large, I might do a giveaway or sell it or something. I don't really know. Next up in the bag, we got this jacket. Now, this jacket was dope. This is actually the last thing in the bag. Now, this jacket was super dope. Now, I'm from up north, so we like... The puffy jackets, but more importantly, you gotta have some sauce with it. You know what I'm saying? Say it with your boy. Sauce, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro, this definitely has some sauce with it. As y'all can see, the blue upper with the kind of like a wolf grayish bottom. Black inside on this, bro. And it's really like a pullover. You can just like zip the upper half. Now, I know I can't really show y'all as much as I would like to. Remember, I'm not back at the crib, so I don't have the space, but. It's dope, man. If y'all want to see any of these full body, you already know that my Instagram is linked down below. Trust me, I'm going to have some pics up soon. Ain't that right, Mike? Uh, hell no. Don't mind Mike. He, he my photographer. So when Mike decide to take pics, that's when I'm a, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, guys, that's about it for this clothing pickup, man. Like I said, I got a lot of pieces here. And uh, let me know what you think about the pieces I picked up. Like a lot of y'all probably don't think none of this is dope. But when I actually put it all together and you go on my gram and you see how it goes together with what I had in mind, you'll definitely understand what I got going on. So you know, as always, man, I appreciate y'all watching. It is your boy, Sniper Jones, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like. Hit that like button. Let's try to get this video to at least 500 likes. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And before I leave, I gotta say it, follow me on Instagram where on my story I do daily giveaways. Well, they ain't daily, but I do giveaways. And also, I post some of the dopest pics on the gram. Until next time, it is your boy, Sniper Jones. I will catch up with y'all. Gang, gang.